The grasses are finally starting to turn kind of pink. I thought I was going to miss it this year, but I'm catching the beginning. Luckily, I at least caught these ones. Today is my last day in Virginia. And honestly, I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful morning. It's foggy over the water and clear over the sky. But I have a lot of work to do before I'm ready to leave. So today is going to be really busy. But right now I just want to enjoy the morning and the quiet and the outdoors before anybody else wakes up. <laughs> A lot has changed since I got here. When I first was here, everything was in full bloom and or just beginning. And now it's kind of reaching the end of its prime. You can see fall starting, the leaves are turning, and the grass is even turning. And it's beautiful. I'm really sad I'm going to miss it. I plan on seeing it next year. I'm going to count on that. I was a little too impatient this year and wanted to get out here early. I found some goldenrod the other day in a field and gathered it up and so I need to pluck the flowers from that and dry it and that's my, that's my next step this morning so might as well get started on that. This bunch is about a third of what I collected the other day so I have quite a lot. The other bit is over here in this very dark corner. I think I'm gonna take this one right here, trim off just the flower bits, and then uh, just kind of condense it all before I start picking it apart. This basket only just has a handful of acorns, so those will stay put. Already only two more of these to go. At least it's quite a beautiful project. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all of this. All right, I think that should be enough. <laughs> My goodness, I don't think I've ever had my hands on this much before. Good news, I do have a really big jar with me that will work perfectly until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Oh my goodness, is this some tedious work? I think I may just shift to picking off these parts of the flower instead of each individual head. Alrighty. Hi, I figured we could sit down and chat while I work on this, although I think you're a bit too dark. Maybe that might be too bright. Let's try with that. So I had a lot of big plans for today and all of these days, but I have been very, very busy. I haven't filmed for a vlog in a bit, but I was, I've spent the last couple of days working on edits and trying to get some videos uh, in backlog because tomorrow I'm leaving, as I've said, and uh, driving again across the country. And so that takes a lot of my scheduling time away. And so it's just been busy trying to make sure I can still do some uploads. And I lost track of time. You know, the last day just goes so fast. It's already eight o'clock in the morning and I was hoping to have more done by now, but that's okay. I'm gonna try my best to enjoy it and do what I can. I wanted to make the raspberry vinegar, raspberry thyme vinegar, 
uh, from the raspberries in my garden here, but I don't think that I can. And so that will probably just be a project for when I get back to Washington. I do have that project or uh, the recipe is up on my other channel for anybody who's interested in doing that and you can, you can beat me to it this year. But right now my focus is on the goldenrod. This is a wonderful, beautiful plant and there really hasn't been any growing in my yard. So when I see it in a field and I'm able to stop and grab some, respectfully, <laughs> I have been and uh, now I think I may have too much, but that's okay. I have this big jar to fill, and if this one gets full, I actually even have another one. So I'm very prepared for excess goldenrod. For those of you that don't know, goldenrod is a very lucky herb, and there are a handful of you know, uses for it. It draws money, I think, mainly because of its likeness to gold and, well, the name and it can be used to find lost things or treasure. At least, so goes the folklore. And oftentimes folklore like that I really enjoy. I think it's the most fun. It's exciting to find treasure, or at least go on an adventure to try. Though I may not be using this for that purpose in the future, I like to just think about it. It inspires me. It makes life a little bit more fun and exciting when you allow yourself to envision that kind of thing. All right. I'll check in with you again in a minute. I don't know if you can see him, but there is a little inchworm on this. Alright, time for you to go outdoors. Alrighty, so I think this jar is all full now, so time to move on to the next one. I probably should have started here. Alrighty, so there we have this one. It's not quite as tightly packed as the other, but it's full. Alrighty, so I got both of these jarred and golden. Sorry. I have a couple more things I need to move on and do. I have the milk thistle that I need to combine together. Um, I need to find some jars, but I think I'm gonna try to find some more like this one. And then I need to just pack up everything that I have. I have had a lot of projects here. Oh, and here, let me show you. My mother found these persimmons in the yard earlier. Oh, this one lost his little hat. Persimmons have some interesting folklore here, so I'm gonna take you through some of those steps later and then this one will still be very bitter, so probably get somebody with that. That'll be fun. But uh, anywho, the seeds inside when you cut them open will reveal what the winter is going to be like. So it's just kind of a tradition now to do that. Alrighty, so that's the plan going forward. Gather up the milk thistle, find some jars, and uh, do the persimmons. Then I need to kind of pack everything, I guess. But yeah, busy, busy time, busy days. <laughs> Looking pretty good if you ask me. Now that this is dried up, all I really have to do is just pack and make sure these are all gonna be protected, which is probably going to be quite the adventure to figure out. But 
sitting here and looking at everything I've made is kind of unbelievable. I haven't had time or the resources to craft like I've been these last couple of days in a year. I mean, I've made three oils. I've collected acorns and other nuts and flowers galore. I've been craving having milk thistle and goldenrod out with me, but I just didn't really think about it when I left to gather up these two. And I'm so glad that I did this time. I expected to have this in one of these jars, but that goldenrod really took over, so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that uh, later on. It's been really good, and looking at all of these creations feels really good. Sometimes I get lost in what I'm doing and I forget all that I have done. And I was feeling really overwhelmed earlier, like I hadn't achieved as much as I had hoped to coming back here, but looking at it now, I see that I have. I've done more than I set out to do, and just because I didn't get to make a vinegar or film some other extra videos here doesn't mean that I can't make it later. And I used everything that I needed to here. It feels really good, and I'm really proud of what I accomplished here. And I am ultimately, at the end of the day, ready to go home. The video that I am posting today slash last week, actually, when this video goes up, uh, is posting in a, oh, a handful of minutes. I'm gonna probably spend some time answering comments over there and seeing what you all think. I guess you'll have known what I've talked about over there. There were some misconceptions lately of everyone thinking, or a handful of people thinking I was staying here. And I talk about some of my plans moving forward. So I guess maybe I'll talk about that in a minute as well after this video goes up and I'll see how you all are feeling about that. But. I'm getting ahead, I'm getting ahead, because I'll just be in the car. I'm not entirely sure if I will film a lot of the road trip this time for this channel. I definitely will probably do what I did uh, coming here. And then I plan on doing a bit of a simpler video in comparison to what these are for Patreon. That's just really basic vlog style, filming all the experiences and just less cinematic and artful because when you're in the car all day, every day, it's kind of challenging to be really cinematic and artful all the time. And so I think I'm just going to put that on Patreon, like I said. So if you're interested in that, that will uh, go up the day after this comes out, hopefully. But all in all, I'm feeling pretty good. So I think I'm going to cut open these persimmons and see what, what winter has in store for, well, everybody here. So according to lore, when you cut open a ripe persimmon, such as this one, and look at the center of the seed, it will present either a fork, spoon, or a knife, each one meaning a different kind of winter. If there's a fork, the winter will be mild, a spoon, there'll be a lot of snow, and a knife means that it will be a biting cold that, well, cuts like a knife. Let's see what it has in store, shall we? I forgot how challenging it is to cut up these little guys, but we're getting there. I think it looks a bit like a spoon, but I'll see. It's still deep in there. I don't know if you'll quite be able to see it, but I think it looks like a fork, not a spoon. So that means a mild winter. We'll see if it holds true this year. Alrighty, so... With that done, I think I'm just gonna start packing up and getting ready to go. I need to finish saying my goodbyes to this land and the earth here, but I think I'm gonna do that by myself, just because it feels a little bit better that way. But I'm glad that I could take you all here again with me, and I am looking forward to getting back home, and I'm looking forward to visiting here again. Everything feels right and I'm happy for the time that I got here. So I'll see you soon, and next time hopefully I'll be in Washington. <laughs>